Subscriber fan mail fishing challenge time. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here today with this package from Canada. Let's open this box and see what's in here. This package comes from Brandon McDaniel in Ontario, Canada. Let's see if I can get this open without a knife. Here's a letter, let's take a look. I hope you can catch some giants. Peace out. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, we got a small little craw. This looks like a yum craw. We've got a Ned rig here, half a Senko on a jig head. We've got a Marabou and an EWG hook. All right, so out of these, my confidence bait is definitely the craw. If I fish this Ned rig, I'm just gonna catch the bottom in a tons of weeds and snags, and I know it'll snap off, so I don't wanna lose it. Marabou jig, maybe in the fall, maybe I can catch some crappies with that. Bullet weights I'll put in my tackle box. These are a little too big to use for this craw. Let's see if this hook will work. The hook looks to be a little too big for this craw, but this is what I'm going to use right here. I'm going to go get some hooks and weights, see if I can catch something on this baby little craw. All right, so let's see if I can get this craw on this little hook. There we go, just like that. Tiny Texas rig. Got this tiny little craw. I got a 16th ounce bullet weight and a one ot Yamamoto worm hook. Let's see if I can find any bass. Fishing that on a quantum snapshot. Bass Pro Shops Classic 200. This might be the smallest craw I've ever fished. I might catch something other than a bass that's so small. I've come down here to hopefully catch something on the small crawl sent into the show by Brendan from Canada. Let's see what happens. These weeds out here, it's like bamboo. I don't even know what kind of weeds they are. They're super thick and super hard. Fish on. What do I got here? A little war mouth on the tiny little craw sent in to the show by Brendan. A little war mouth. Look at that eye. Super red. Cool looking fish. Oh, that might have been a bite. Oh, lost a claw. Now I'm fishing a one claw craw. That might make it a little trickier. Damn it, some little fish took a claw off. Oh man, look at that one claw craw. But guess what? If that happens in nature, I'm gonna keep fishing it. Hopefully I can catch more than just one more mouth. Ah, 
head a little bite. Fish. There we go, largemouth bass on this tiny one claw craw. Sweet. Check it out, guys. This one's for you, Brandon. There we go. Got this nice bass on the little crawfish sent to the show by Brendan from Canada. There we go. Made it work. I lost one claw earlier on it, but I still kept fishing it. Got a bass right down there by the weeds. It's a nice looking bass too for such a small bait. All right, let's let it go. Oh man, he's stuck. There he goes. Nice. All right, well, there goes that craw. <laughs> Lost it while I caught that bass, but it was worth it. Stripped it right off the hook. All right, Brendan, that bass was for you. Now let's get back to the studio and open more mail that was sent to the show. Let's dive into it and see what we got. Here I've got a letter from the Goodman family. Put this toward whatever you need to keep fishing and making videos, including beer. Well, thank you, Steve, for the donation. I really appreciate the support. Let's see what else we got. All right, this package is from The Fish Dimension. All right, let's see what we have in here. All right, here's a crusty old pink and green jig with the paint chipping off. That looks old school. V&M Baits, the ultimate bass and bait. Corkscrew Bloodline. This has pork fat cooked in. There we go. It's some kind of a wide ribbed worm. Or grub. That's an interesting lure. I fished something similar to this. It was called a coontail. Big Bite Baits coontail. I don't remember exactly. But this is pretty cool. I bet I could catch a bass with that. Eventually. Let's see what else we got. Yum grubs. These look like shrimp. It doesn't really say the name of it, so let's look at one real quick. Alright, this looks like a shrimp. So it's got the flat shrimp tail and these little dangly legs like shrimp have. This is looking more like a challenge box, but we'll see what else is in here. Big grubs, rawhide baits made in the USA. Six inch grubs. These are pretty cool. I've caught something on six inch grubs before. So I might be able to get something with this. Those are pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Power bait ripple shad. Five inch swim bait from Power Bait. So there it is, 5 inch swim bait, it's like a blue back shad pattern. 5 inches pretty big, it would take a pretty good sized fish to go for that I think. And some zoom chunk trailers, pink, bubblegum pink. 
I'm not big on pink lures. I don't think I've ever caught anything on a pink lure, but you never know, right? And here's a letter. Realistic fishing. Deals, deals, deals. For this challenge, I hit every bargain bin at every podunk establishment that dares to say bait. Can you catch bass and what they can't sell? Plenty to Texas rig here, but for legendary difficulty, try that jig with a pink chunk trailer. Fish Dimension. Well, thank you, Fish Dimension, for sending the challenge box. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might be able to catch something on this with a pink trailer. Let's put that together real quick and see what it would look like. So this is a flat jig. I don't know if you're supposed to swim this or what. The paint is chipping off. So that's it. That's what he's challenging me to catch a fish on. Looks pretty ridiculous. I might be able to get it done. I don't know. With that exposed hook, I'm looking for trouble. I have a feeling I would get it snagged before I caught something. But who knows? Alright, let's see what else we have. Here's a package from Mark in Newcastle, Delaware. Let's see what we have inside. I found the letter first this time. Let's see what it says. Hey Alex, here are a few crankbaits I got on discount for you to put a few bass on the shore. Keep cranking out those high quality videos. Fishing with me, aka Mark. Fishing with me. Is that a YouTube channel? I'll have to check that out. Alright, first we have, hey, Strike King KVD. 2.5. That's a good looking crankbait right here. Square bill, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, square bill crankbait. Another Strike King crankbait. Designed by the pros. Series 1XS. Another square bill. A little bit smaller. Still a good looking bait right here. That's two great looking crankbaits so far. Another KVD square bill crankbait 1.5. It's another good looking crankbait. Is that upside down? Nope. Nice. Three beautiful Strike King crankbaits. One more. Another KVD crankbait. Good looking crankbait here. That's four Strike King crankbaits. Pretty nice. Thanks again, Mark. These are good looking lures. I think it said fish with me. It didn't say if it was a YouTube channel or not, but I'll check it out. Let's see what else we got. All right, this one comes from Hanzi in QC. That's Canada, right? Hanzi in Quebec, Canada. This came a long ways. Let's get it open. There's a lot of stuff crammed in here. Let's see what we got. Alright, first off we got a nail clipper. Cool little nail clipper here to cut the fishing line. Let's see what else we got. All right, we got a package of jig hooks, Mako brand. All right, some jig heads. We also got some Matsuo snelled hooks, size six. Let's see what else. Jungle jig, weedless flipping jig by Northland Fishing Tackle. This is nice. 
That's a good looking jig. Try not to look. That way it's a surprise. Bass Magic Swim Baits. These are big swim baits. Does it say how big? Six and a half inch. Let's get one out of here. Yeah, that's a big swim bait. Is it hollow? Yes, hollow. So it's a big hollow swim bait. Look at that tail. That's a big tail on a swim bait. Take a pretty big bass to go for this. Pretty cool. Let's see what else. Salmon trout steelhead jigs. Alright, so here's a jig with a round head and a bunch of feathers and stuff. I might be able to catch a bass on that. Depends if it's weedless. Otherwise, I might have to wait and try this in the right application. Pretty nice looking jig though. Alright, we have some Matsuo Tournament Series Creature Baits 8-pack. I can't really see them that well, so I'm going to have to open this up and take one out. Yo, that's weird. It's kind of a stubby little lizard, half lizard, half craw, half brush hog. Wow, I've never seen one of these before. Pretty cool. I'll have to give that a try. I'm pretty confident in that one. Same thing. Creature Bait 8-pack. I got two packs of Matsuo Tournament Series Creature Baits. Summer Ice Bobbers. Cool, got some adjustable foam bobbers here. You can use it as a slip bobber or a regular bobber. You can cut some of the foam off, shrink the bobber, all sorts of options and stuff on the back here. Pretty cool, I've never used a foam bobber. Another pack of foam bobbers. What is this? Game Boy Advance Rapala Pro Fishing. I'm not sure if I have this one. Looks like I have Great Outdoor Games Bass 2002, Monster Bass Fishing, American Bass, Rapala Pro Fishing. Just made the list. This is awesome. Thank you, Hansi, for sending the game. Right there in front of a black bass, Rapala Pro Fishing. One more item. Looks like another game. I don't see a note or anything in here. And this is Kevin Van Dam Big Bass Challenge for the Wii. I do not have this one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like fishing games. I like fishing anything. Hanzi, pretty awesome. Thank you for sending this stuff to the show. The lures, the games. Nice. We're going to put this right here in front of the helicopter lure. Kevin Van Dam Big Bass Challenge. Let's keep going and see what else we got. This one is from John Manson. Hey, I know a guy named Bro Manson. Just wanted to say congrats on hitting the 20k mark on YouTube. Keep up the great videos and content. It's nice to watch a video and be able to relate to it. 
Most YouTubers are driving $20,000 boats and make everything look so easy. I'm glad you're keeping it realistic. Well, thank you, John. Let's see what you sent to the show. This looks like rod sleeves. More rod sleeves. 71 inch. More rod sleeves. Wow. I got a lot of rod sleeves. Yellow. Six and a half foot rods. 610. 7276. Hey, that helps. I got to make sure I keep this piece of paper with the rod sleeves. Hopefully these can help protect my rods when they're in the car. One more box. What a day. I had a lot of mail today. All right, we have this box from Chris in Gadsden, Alabama. This thing is taped very, very well. There we go. Here we have a letter right on top. Brother, I enjoy your show. Do a challenge, do a giveaway, doesn't matter. Just keep doing what you do. Enjoy and keep it real. Chris, Gadsden, Alabama. Well, thank you, Chris. Let's see what's in here. I see some Berkeley Havoc. Devil Spear. What a coincidence. I just did a video about a Devil Spear. And I thought it was pretty cool. So now I have some in some other colors. This is Red Bug. Also, Pearl Blue Shad. Another package of Devil Spear. Another package of Devil Spear. Black. If you haven't seen the video where I fish with those, it's kind of like a pit boss mixed with a beaver bait. Pretty good action. Here's something I haven't seen before. Berkeley Havoc Wide Load. Wide Load. Skeet Reese design. I'll show you before I open them. Wow. Does that separate? Nope. That's a big tail. Alright. This is a weird looking bait. So we got a huge tail on the end of this creature bait right here. It's got two little arms and this big flat tail. It's like a leaf. And the color? Skywalker. Like Skywalker, Skywalker. Here's another new bait I've never seen. Slop Craw. I'm just, I'm just getting right into it. Pretty cool. It's like a little craw. He's round like a tube. He's not hollow though, so it's a stiff plastic body with two little claws, two little antenna. But this, look at this. I think this is to protect the front of the hook from being so square and catching all those weeds. That's a neat design. I'll have to try this out. Slop Craw, never heard of it. Another package of Devil Spear, Red Shad. These packages are so loud. That's funny. Another package of Devil Spear, Sapphire Blue and Black. That is a lot of Devil Spears. Here is another wide load. This one is in plum. This is an awesome amount of Havoc baits. Another package of wide load. Blue Disco. Another item, Havoc Juice Worm. I have used this before and caught bass. This is a good one. That's a lot of Havoc. All right, let's see what else we got. BD series, Boyd Duckett, BDT 105 topwater bait. There's a topwater bait. It's like a stick bait with a little popper nose on it. 
That looks pretty cool. I don't have much experience with these. But this one looks good. I have to give it a try. Let's see what else. Another BD series. Half ounce popper. It's like a clear popper bait. You twitch the line when this is sitting on top and it splashes water. I've caught fish on poppers before. It's pretty cool. Head and top water. Three and a half inch. Chuggin Spook Jr. I actually found one of these. I haven't got around to using it. But why use that rusty old thing when I can use this one? It looks like a little bass pattern. That's three topwaters. Pretty cool. Vicious Fishing VXW Series 110 4 inch floating topwater bait. Here's another topwater walking bait. Vicious Fishing. I don't have a ton of experience with these, but in the fall, when I start finding white bass and stripers, going after schooling a shad, I bet these will work brilliantly. Especially this one. Looks just like a shad. Let's see. Yep. Look at this thing. That looks like a nice jerkbait if I've ever seen one. I gotta give this a try too. Fall. This looks like a great fall bait. Another one. This one has a different color pattern, sort of like a trout. Another Lucky Craft Minnow. Good looking baits here. Another Lucky Craft Minnow. Different color here. This one looks like a shad kinda, silver and gray. These are really nice jerk baits. One more. Same thing. That's four Lucky Craft minnows. Wow. These are really nice. Wow. Thanks again, Chris from Gadsden, Alabama. We got the four Lucky Craft minnow baits. Four top water walking baits and this popper here. Five packs of devil spears in various colors. Three packs of wide load. A pack of juice worms and a pack of slop craws. That's a lot of havoc baits. I'd like to thank all of the people who sent mail into the show. Today was an epic mail unboxing. Whether you're sending mail like this, or a box of lures, or two lures, or three lures, I don't care. I appreciate all the mail and all the support. I was so happy I could catch a fish on that little crawfish sent into the show. And I always have a good time opening all the mail, whether that's a letter, a box of lures, anything. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.